when Mark Perot's Perot Mount Pictures makes a movie, it breaks even almost immediately because he shoots his films on a budget of $25 a day. It's Death Row Game Show, where contestants are convicts. Before you lose your head, we'll give you a chance to win some money for your family. Well, I never thought he'd amount to anything. Here we go! Welcome to the wonderful world of Death Row Game Show! Anyone on Death Row can be a contestant. Man or woman, young or old, I do not discriminate. Most of my films have a little weirdness to them, I've been told. I mean, they seem normal to me. We're about to take you behind the scenes of Nudist Colony of the Dead. They mixed humor and hard work with some innovative techniques to create what they hope is a monster hit. Mark it. <laughs> Way back! Nudist Colony of the Dead is the brainchild of director Mark Pirro, who keeps costs down by borrowing a friend's smoke machine and convincing his associate producer to double as a zombie. Nudist Colony of the Dead. A Polish vampire in Burbank. A comedy in the horror genre. Well, that was the first project I really did, and it was my first feature film. Uh, we made it for $2,500. It ended up wow. buying me my condo. I mean, nobody expected that movie to do anything. We made it as a showcase. But Polish Vampire has become a trendsetter. The film has grossed up to half a million dollars. We sold it. You got it on the U uh, USA Television Network, got it sold on video. And I was like, well, gee, that was easy. If you've got money this week, you film. If you don't have money this week, you call up everybody and say, okay, we're going to be taking a break for another week and we'll shoot next week. Chris McQueerwolf is about a guy who one day meets a woman in a bar, takes her home, finds out that she's not a woman after she bites him. Every time the moon rises, he becomes this transvestite character. You were bitten by him, eh? Huh? No! <laughs> Change upon the next full moon. They're queer. Give me the weapon, he's a queer wolf. You're not playing against the big boys. These are movies that will never play theatrically. You're going for the home video market, and you're going for a kind of a cult audience. I love you. <laughs> it's about a black girl that turns white. She sort of has a relationship with a white guy, and she kind of wonders if white guys have a, a different feeling towards white women as they do as opposed to black women. And so mm -hmm. she uh, goes to bed one night wondering if he really cares for her. She wakes up the next morning, and she's Oops. this beautiful blonde. <laughs> Crazy shit is this? I'm just as baffled as you are. I went out to dinner last night with Dave. I didn't feel well. I came home and went to bed, and I woke up this morning, and I'm Heather Locklear. What would you be willing to do to save your life? You got the problem. I got the treatment. Rectuma is the motion picture about a giant ass. Can I say, can I say giant? It will grow larger. Talking Oprah large or Sally Struthers large. This thing grows and grows to gargantuan proportions until a final confrontation takes place downtown in City Hall. That's the biggest damn ass I've ever seen. Well, this is a uh, story of the Bible, and uh, they haven't really made a really accurate telling of the Bible in years. I can do things to you, Mary. Amazing things. I can't be pregnant. If these were primitive times, we'd have you stoned. Why weren't you using protection? Wait a second. These is primitive times. Nurse, give me some rocks, you whore. This man is responsible for breaking up my home. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. You're the sickest, cruelest, sadistic man I ever met. And I know men who fuck sheep. Sticks and stones can break my bones. Take this, all of you, and drink. For this is my blood. You stay away from my mother. 
If you don't keep away from my mother, you'll have no one to blame but yourself. I guess I just don't discipline her like I should. This is about a 15-year-old sociopath who doesn't want anybody dating her single mom. She wants me out of the way, and she knows what it takes to make that happen. A character named Vincent Marsden, who is a school teacher, and he wants to date her mom, and she doesn't want it. She won't have it. So she goes to incredible extremes to prevent him from seeing her mom. You're under arrest. What? This is a setup. She's doing this to get me out of her mother's life. What you did to him was inexcusable. Do you really think he'd like you if you weren't attractive? Uh, the new film is called Celluloid Soul, and it's about a actress from 1930s who appears today. The thing about this person is that she appears in black and white. I think this obsession you have over this actress is a little too much. I never dreamed that you would actually still be around. She's coming here tonight. I've never had a monochrome woman before. It's all monochrome in the job. Had you ever had trouble distinguishing fantasy from reality before? You had sex with a film clip, did you? You guys don't think I'm crazy, do you? I feel so bad for him. I love you, Monty. Rudy's a good boy. He'd never hurt anyone. What the hell was that? We're heirs to some rich guy's fortune. His estate is worth over half a billion dollars, and I'm up for a piece of it. I may come back with a healthy inheritance. Hi, man. We're here. You have affected Mr. Barnett's life and he plans to give every one of you exactly what he believes you deserve. One of you will own my entire estate. The rest of you will be dead. We drove up all that way. You have to stick it out. Hey, I just lost the internet. I did too. Your cars have all been disabled and your communication to the outside world has been cut off. He's gotta be joking, right? This man is dead and he's still causing me grief. It's sagging, huh? If we stay here, we're just shitting ducks. You mean sitting ducks. Check my underwear. Revenge is a dish best served cold. And you don't get much colder than me.